Good day everyone, my name is Rainer James Corpus and today I'm talking about language barriers. So, as we begin our talk, listen carefully for what I am going to discuss about language barriers. Let's start. What is language barrier? First, language is needed for any kind of communication. Even people with speech impairments communicate with sign language braille. Communication becomes difficult in the situation where people don't understand each other's language. Inability to communicate using language is no language barrier to communication. Language barriers are common challenges in many countries, such Japan, China, and others, as they as they are with the much international institution, we are often to work on new and better ways to understand one another. One, in the bridge of communication gaps and improved company-wide collaboration, more than half of us speak English and some only speak their native language. And growing majority in learning to speak both, in light of globalization, we are bound to see more people to start a fa and to face these same challenges. As we face this challenge, we are Filipinos. There are many types of language barriers. We've already given the most obvious examples, language barriers, people speaking language native to different regions. But there are more subtle types of language barriers. For example, for example, as in your industry or your skill set may be involved a lot of techni technical language when you're speaking to people. You are speaking to your people outside in your industry or even inside your department. A lot can get lost in translation when speaking to others. It's important to each individual to communicate the inform to communicate the information in terms of everyone can understand to ensure we are all aligned in our goals. If the topic doesn't understand what else he or she doing as we no idea what the person is doing, we are all in deep trouble. As we face this such challenges that's why we need to learn a new language or uh, we need we need to set aside the language barriers we need to enhance or expand our idea about language to another example of language barriers is dialect people can technically be speaking in the, sp in the, the same language but Dialectical difference can create a mis misunderstanding and gaps in a communication. For example, in India, uses over two major languages written in different scripts with over 720 dialects that leaves a lot of room for linguistics mix-ups. And also, another example is in our Philippines, we have many languages as the natives and uh, as the regional language we have more than 100 language and different meaning in different different phases of the language or words as we understand it we need to learn or deep or dig more information about a certain word number three a final example you should be aware of is language disabilities. Many people work with physical impediments to language such as stuttering, dysphonia, hearing loss. These have no bearing on someone's ability to understand to and do their job, but it can make a communication more cumbersome. With so many languages, can impede our ability to collaborate is crucial to have strategies for connecting everyone we have seven tips to get you started overcoming language barriers to overcome language barriers in the workplace here are the few things you can do you 
First, number one, use a plain language whether you're working with someone who knows your primary language as a secondary or you're trying to communicate a deeply technical problem to your non-technical co-workers. Everyone should get in a habit of using plain language whenever possible. While many people try to use the large words to make themselves sound intelligent or good at their job. They are not doing any, anyone any favors using jargons or esoteric vocabulary. Only creates uh, opportunity for miscommunication and makes people feel bad that they can't understand what you're saying creating a, or creating a culture in your workplace of speaking simply and explaining all issues as straightforwardly as a possible key. To find a re reliable translation service if you're working across international offices or enlist the help of qualified translation or translator to find a service that meets your needs or not that would fit in your standards. Every document document deemed important to the entire institution should be translated into your primary language of your other offices. Be careful when you're finding your services and be sure to vet their qualification. You'll see a several free websites that claim a translate text from one to another but they not be account for a different dialect and sometimes words are different usage in the different culture three provide classes for the employment or if you're working in a highly technical environment like company or include a crash course during initial job training consider ongoing learning classes later on that needs understand Understand to learn inside and out of any person's teaching needs to understand why your classes are so important and everyone needs to be able to speak a com common language as a plan for the future. Four, use the visual methods of communication would often fail us when they do showing can be a lot more effective than telling. Use picture or diagrams explain complex complicated concept visual cues are invaluable for getting everyone on the same page not to mention thinking more creatively about the new solution number five use repetition language barrier or not people often need to hear something something more than once to understand to remember to remember it it don't expect it anyone to remember something you said once if it is important, make it regular part in your communication. And seven, be respectful language barriers. Like all barriers, communication can be frustrating. They require a patient misunderstanding or understanding and conscience truthness. Ensure that you or your team are struggling to communicate that you never raise your voice or over initiate talk. When you're talking, you should be slower instead of louder, clearly instead of forcefully. And remember, when someone is working through language, hardly is nothing to do more intellectual intelligence or ability to grasp a concept behind your trying to say. Continue to speak a proper language or a proper English as you search for common ground, so they can learn how to understand correctly too. Also, you should be more active listening. That could be acquired developed practice that word means that name is suggest actively actively listening to the concentration on what being said, just hearing the message of the speaker. On language barriers can be challenged but working with people different culture and background is what drives the most innovation created and success don't let la don't let language barriers stand in the way of embracing everyone that diverse has to offer living as a living beings we need to express understand as well as of others and and 
that's all about my talk about uh, language barriers. And thank you for so much for listening on my speech. Thank you.